right, this morning we're going to cover the MongoDB error, <clears throat> duplicate key error, index, and then it's usually the database name, dot collection, dot uh, the actual <clears throat> ID field where we had a duplicate key. So <clears throat> one of the misconceptions about Mongo is that you can populate any data that you want and there's no concern about key. Now in some of the examples that you've seen, I've actually allowed there to be an auto key which is auto generated. So there's an ID field um, that is auto generated and I'm only inserting data and I'm not actually inserting uh, that ID. And really fast, I'm going to go ahead and show that. And you will see <clears throat> in this table we have ID. I am not actually inserting this value. This is actually auto-populated, but you will notice that this ID is unique, okay? And I'm going to demonstrate this in a second. What I'm going to do is we're going to look at db.fastdata.find.pretty, uh, oops, and <clears throat> we will see that we have an ID 1, 2, 3 house and we have uh, these values. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate this error and show you why it's happening. There may be situations in which the error that you're receiving is a little bit different uh, because we're dealing with ID here. What it's talking about is a duplicate key error. So SQL types will, and people who are from the background of SQL will probably immediately intuitively understand this error just because this is a very common error in the world of SQL. What I've noticed with people that have asked me questions in Mongo is I don't understand. I, I thought it was big data, so why does an ID field mean anything? Well, as we'll see, we can't insert a duplicate ID. This is unique to identifier, and if I'm going to specify it, it needs to be unique. So, and you can make whatever column you want to be an ID field. It is true. It's going to have to be unique still, and this video is not going to cover that. For the sake, we're going to be using underscore ID as the ID field. So we have db.fastdata dot insert and then we're going to pass in our document and I'm going to insert the document for and then I'm going to pass in the value or sorry the yeah the field house and I'm going to say four 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 one oops seventh street and then close my document and close parentheses. And you'll notice it inserts because if I do this, we have four, right? <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to insert this again. What I'm going to do is change to 440. So we know this isn't a duplicate, right? This 4407th Street, but ID4, there already is an ID4. So we get an error. Duplicate key error index SQL and six fast data, and you'll notice the, the ID, I keep saying column, but it's the field or key and duplicate key, right? Four, and notice it's specifying the value that's the duplicate, so it's really cool. It's telling us what it is. We passed in a four. So if I want to add this value, I need to make sure that it's not something that already exists in this case is five. Now it is true that you can set it to auto increment. In this case, since I'm using this ID and I'm starting it at one, that would be convenient. Um, in the world of a SQL Server, for instance, some of you know it would be identity one comma one, right? Well, in this case, I'm not setting it since I'm manually inserting those this data in the back end, that is. Um, of course, I'm going to get that error if I pass in a value that already exists. So if you have an application that's populating this and you don't have it set to auto increment, keep in mind whether you're using a for loop or a for each loop, however you're connecting, you do want to make sure that that value is incrementing if you're going to specify. That being said, I have found that there's very little problem with using what Mongo populates for its ID, there are situations in which that object ID, notice this ID, object ID here, may not be something that you want to use. I can totally understand. There are all kinds of algorithms that I populate my own IDs. So it depends. If you absolutely need to, if you have some algorithms, it's usually going to be mathematical functions that you'll want to use your own ID. If not, you can go ahead and use what Mongo provides. You do not have to specify it, but keep in mind if you don't specify an ID field, um, then your, it still has to be unique and you can get an error because that means somewhere along the line something is not unique.